Hey guys. So yeah. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about bullies. Um, as some of you guys know, I was bullied in, um, let's see. Let's say elementary, all the way to high school. Freshman year, I think. Yeah. All those years, I was bullied. I moved schools every year. I could not stay in one place. Apparently, my parents could not stay in one place. So, I was, I've been to like 11 schools in my whole life. Three high schools, and um, yeah, you think my life's easy? Think twice. So yeah, um, I was bullied in elementary. People called me short. That was like the first stages of it. People kept on picking on me, and I was always fighting to be cool. You know, so hard that I I even smoked in third grade. I know, bad, bad, bad. I never smoked after that. I only did it because my friends were doing it, and now they're all potheads and. All that stuff, and I'm just like, I'm so glad we moved out of that place because I would have been so freaked out like that. So, um, later on, I started going to middle school, and that's the years where you want to be cool, you want to fit in, you know, because you know that's where you find your place in this world. Because if you don't have friends in middle school, I don't know what you're gonna do. So, um, I was, I don't know, I don't think I was really, bullied. well, at this one school, um, it was all whites. And those like Asians, but they were all freaking adopted, so it doesn't really count, you know. <laughs> and then I was there. Um, I, I wasn't really bullied. I just didn't have any friends. I hung out with the losers, and um, I was a freaking pushover, cause there was this girl. I'm not gonna say any names, cause I have her as a friend on Facebook. But she always like acted like she was my freaking mom. I think it was kind of dumb, cause like you know, I don't get it. it I just let her push me around, and I was like, that was the first stages of me letting people do whatever they want to me, and now it's just like, are you serious? And that's when emo-ism started coming in trend. Everyone wore skinny jeans, everyone had long hair, they started cutting their wrists, having sex, and all that stuff. So I was like, oh, it's pretty interesting. That's when I started becoming emo and cutting my wrists, and um, thinking of suicide. So, so none of them really talked to me, and like my friends were talking like, yeah, he's emo, dude. He's emo, he cuts his wrist, dude. And I was like, oh, is that cool? People talking about him. He has a lot of friends. He cuts his wrist, he must, he must be cool. So I guess I got that stupid idea in my head that, you know, if you hate your life, you cut your wrist and you'll have friends. Didn't work. So don't cut your wrist. It doesn't really help. I don't think it helps. It just ruins your skin. So um, started going to a different school after that. And um, for seventh grade, I don't remember, um, actually, I was going to a what, um, an Asian school this time, and um, I don't think this is 7th grade, I forgot everything, but 7th grade, um, I was trying to, I hung out with the mom girls, but I was still kind of quiet, you know, and there was boys I liked, obviously, but I had bushy eyebrows, long, thick, nappy-ass black hair, and I was like freaking... I don't know, 3-2? I don't know, I'm just kidding. But, you know, when I liked a boy, he would just say he didn't like me. Um, uh, yeah. I was going to the school. It was all white. Barely any Asians, but the Asians there hated me, so whatever. And, um, because I was really whitewashed. So, um, the white people, they were really mean because, you know, they're all rich and shit, and it's like, I had nothing. I still don't have anything. So like, I'm walking around looking all emo because, you know, my other school set me straight, right? So I'm going there looking emo with my freaking long ass black hair. Actually, yeah, I have black hair and I cut it short. I always cut my own hair. I don't know. Um, cutting hair was like a, cutting my own hair was like a stress reliever for me. So I always cut my own hair. And, um, I went to school and people called me short. I was used to it and all that stuff. And I was just like, okay, whatever, drop it. And then, um, all of a sudden, these two boys, um, they started saying, like, um, oh my gosh, I hate Asians. I wish all Asians would get hit by cars. And now I was just, like, feeling like shit. I was like, are you freaking serious? Okay, um, I think you're joking, so whatever. And I was really hurt about it, but I just kind of dropped it. And there's some other dude. I was getting on my health class. We were messing around, and, um, I had this thing where I was scratch guys at the because I always grew up my nails just to scratch them and they would freaking bleed 
I don't know why I did it, but it was like a self-defense. So, um, this guy, he started like pushing me, and I was like, dude, are you serious? So I, I grabbed him and I scratched him, and then he got mad, and he pushed me and shoved me into a locker, and I hit my arm in my locker, and I was just like, thinking about it. I'm so sick of this shit. So I went home, emailed my assistant principal, because I'm a boss, and um, I went to school, and then totally forgot about the whole thing, and then I got called down to the office, and I, I went down there, and the teacher was like, I mean, the principal was like, um, I got your email, all this stuff. Thanks for being brave and telling me. And I was just like, uh, he's like, you want to tell me what happened? And I was just like, I don't know why, but I started crying like crazy, like freaking boogers coming out my fucking nose. And it was just like, I couldn't stop. And I was wearing my blue Aeropostal heart sweater and I rubbed all my boogers on it. And then he's like, he passed me the Kleenex. So I explained to him what these people were saying, and I never noticed how much it hurt in me, you know? Like, I just let out all my pain there. It's like the first time I ever talked to someone about my issues, and now I was just like, it feels so good. So, he told me to leave, and then I went back to class. And then, um, <coughs> the next day, those two boys got suspended for two days, I think, or oh, no, a week. They got suspended, and then when they came back, they apologized to me. Except for the, one of them, I can understand, because he had a lot of pride in himself, he was a jock. And one of them was like an emo kid. So um, I understood that the jock didn't want to apologize to me. Um, because, you know, he has his pride. I understand. It's all good. I got him suspended. Who cares? You know, hopefully hopefully that taught him a lesson in life. You know, it, it really hurts. So um, the emo kid apologized to me. And I didn't know what to say. So I was just like, okay. You know, I just, I just felt so powerful at the time, you know. So speak up. If you speak up, you're getting bullied. It'll help. They have laws against bullying now, you know? So if you're being bullied, go talk about it to someone. Because if you don't, you're just going to get hurt in the end. Those boys made me want to kill myself. And you don't know how many times I attempted suicide. And so, yeah. Um, I went to, let's talk about high school. My freshman year, I went to this all-white school in Illinois. Um, I went there and I was still kind of emo-ish, punkish, you know. Um only Asian there and <coughs> I was friends with the emo kids and stuff you know um I wasn't really bullied but I guess you could say that like people didn't really like me or they didn't want to talk to me because apparently they were too good for me you know so I remember I was going to my locker every morning and there were these boys that sat by a window right by my locker. It was like a huge window. And I was on the, by like, I'd buy them. I always go put my stuff away. And um, these boys would be like, hey, sushi. And I was like, are they calling me a racist name? Okay, sushi's fucking good. I don't know what's your problem. And then some of them started calling me like egg rolls and all this Asian food shit. And I was like, stop calling me this name. I'm getting fucking hungry. I'm just kidding. I didn't say that, but <laughs> um, yeah, they could have called me every morning, and I was just like, I can't believe I didn't say anything. Now that I think about it, I can't believe I didn't stand up for myself and be like, shut the fuck up. But I just let it go because you know, like, I was like, you know, they're cool. So if they notice me, that means you know I have a chance of being cool in school. So didn't work. Um, I thought that joining cheerleading would get me to be more popular. See, I joined cheerleading. Right there. Yeah, um, I thought that it would make me popular, but it didn't. I did not know how to do anything. I was only a flyer. So when I wore my cheerleading outfit, I felt like guys noticed me, but I didn't have a body, so guys didn't really notice me, so it didn't work. So cheerleading wasn't my thing, and I quit. And, um, yeah, I think that moral of the story is don't change who you are just to fit in with everyone because it eventually doesn't even work out. Like, you think you're going to be cool because you cut your wrists. It's not cool. I know some people have, like, real issues with cutting their wrists and they need it, but I don't think that, um, you need to cut your wrists. I think you're way worth more than that. And, um, I don't think that girls should... Be easy 
to get because there's a lot of girls out there that just all skanky because you know they don't get enough attention from guys and guys you guys should lose up a little bit because you guys are so you guys set your standards so high and girls already try so hard just to look good every day and guys don't appreciate that and um I think that people should stop bullying because even the slightest thing you say could hurt someone because now that I'm looking like this and not so nerdy and shit um I have those people from my old school in Illinois added and when I left the school everyone was like oh my gosh why'd you leave you're so hot and I was like thanks not so much like you called me sushi and then some dude this just happened yesterday he was like you're cute and I was so mad that night I don't know why I slashed out at him I was like you know what last time I checked you freaking called me sushi he's like that's my friends I'm like no I remember your freaking face saying that I remember you saying it to me and I was so pissed off at you about it and he's trying to deny it I'm like you know what F this shit you're freaking ridiculous I'm not even gonna deal with you right now so um I went on like a rampage you don't even know I was so mad if I could say if I could stand up for myself back then like how I can now and I could kick ass like how I can now you wouldn't even bullies would not even exist on this earth I will freaking punch their face in okay I, I, I it's just so it makes me so angry seeing people killing themselves over bullies and the bullies don't feel bad about it so many stories out there every time I read about someone killing themselves over bullies it makes me cry because I'm like are you freaking serious it's so sad I mean I'm even tearing them around thinking about like there was this girl, she killed herself because people followed her home and bullied her just because, you know, she was different from everyone else. She went home and hung herself. That's not even cool. Okay, to, does it really take someone's death to make you guys notice that bullying is a problem in this world? It took like freaking five people to kill themselves for this world to freaking realize like, oh my gosh, people bully. Okay, they have freaking shows that show people freaking beating up the nerd kids for their lunch money. Doesn't that show you something's going wrong here something's wrong in this world and um bullying people need to stick stand you see people getting bullied you need to do something about it i think it's freaking stupid people just watching the sidelines i know i get really mad about this stuff because it really hurts you know because i'm like you know i got bullied and i don't want to see someone else go to the same problems as me and um if you're being bullied seriously speak up or stand up for yourself because you think that if you're going to stand up for yourself, they're going to laugh at you? Who cares? They're already laughing at you. You know what? Just, it's, oh, it makes me so mad. This is a long video. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So, um, I hope something, some of this sparked in your head and taught you something. So, hope you guys like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.